Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. That's right, we're going with the full ABCs of Arc. A for Arc, B for Basic, C for, well, whatever you want it to be. C can be anything. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Arc Basics. I'm Flinger Foo, and today we are going to be discussing those little dudes. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about because the title uh, showed you exactly everything that we're talking about. We're talking about everything you need to know about the Dodo. Now, a lot of people, when they look at a Dodo, they go, oh, hey, free meat, free hide on the beach. Well, you're right. You're absolutely 100% right. But there's so much to these little guys that you would never imagine that they will just open the door for you throughout the entire game. They will um, add more things that you can do. They will make things easier and smoother and it's just better. All right. So, hey, let's get over there to the Dodo uh, farming area and I'll see you guys in a sec. All right. Coming down in here and I already see our first willing accomplices for this video. All right, so now let's hop down here, and then tech armor is just not going to do it for this. So let's get down into our skivvies. Seriously, dude. All right, so hey, there. Now we're looking like a brand new survivor. Nailed it. All right, so now these little guys right here on the beach, um, these dudes, they are really, really amazing. Now, a lot of people, they'll see, all right, hey, look, a dodo on the beach. I get to make them go extinct, and yes, um, that is uh, part of their use, actually. At lower levels, these guys are an amazing source of XP, just to give you that little bump that you need. Um, farming these guys with a wooden spear works out to be quite effective for everything that you need. Um, but, I mean, they, not only do they give you meat, they give you a uh, hide, and then they also give you experience. They're everything that a growing arc survivor needs. But... After you're done harvesting these guys for their little tender vittles, uh, you can go around and you can tame these guys. That's right. We'll put this away. And the easiest way to tame them is just punch them. I mean, there's other ways of doing it that's a little bit quicker than just punching them. But punching them, for the most part, is very, very effective for knocking them out. And you'll also notice that they're communal little creatures. So where when you punch one, every one of them around them will start running. But if you just stay on it, they'll eventually get knocked out. Now, the reason why this guy's taking so long is that he was level 95, or she was level 95. Oh, sweet! You will do great for our demonstration today. Thank you for being such a willing accomplice. <laughs> All right, so yeah. Uh, let's go grab some berries. Now, when it comes down to taming um, Dodos, really all it takes is a little bit of berries sometimes you might need some narco berries but not really um yeah they'll freak you out a little bit about how uh their taming effectiveness or their how their taming bar kind of jumps down a bit but it's really not not it's really nothing to worry about all right here let me show you See, uh, throw some measure berries on here. Bam. You'll notice that when we're doing the basics videos and we're taming herbivores, um, our go-to berry is usually measure berry. All right. So there we go. See, it's already going to eat quite a bit. And it's already going to be tamed up super, super fast. All right. So let's just get this guy going. Um, yeah, and their, their food goes down super fast. I mean, super fast. So we're taming these guys super easy. But... If you need to, you can always just grab your extra narco berries that you get from harvesting up the bushes, and you can give it to them. Just remember, each narco berry gives them 7.5 torpor. So, two narco berries, 15 torpor. All right. And we're going to get this guy tamed up, or this girl tamed up, and she's going to turn out to be quite amazing for the demonstration purposes. Come on, eat your one more berry. Everybody's watching. All right? Everybody's watching. You just eat your berry jump up we'll have an amazing dodo there we go nailed it all right so yeah um we're just not even gonna name this girl because yeah i'm not sure how she's gonna end up let's grab this girl now you can pick up these girls um or these dodos these girls these boys these everybody just by grabbing them like this and it looks a little funky but yeah I mean, it's quite effective. This is how you uh, easily move around your dodos and of course whenever you're carrying your dodo apparently your face gets locked onto their butt it's a thing that you gotta do. 
All right, so um, now that we've got this, how you pick these guys up, just click your use button. Wrong button, close the map, and apparently you can open the map while you're doing this too. Um, yeah, you just use your, click your use button, and when you throw them, you just click, you just left click, or right click, or not that click. All right, so yeah, um, you just pick them up, run over like this, but the only problem with why you're carrying them like this is you can't sprint. Yeah, that's the thing. But you can also ride other... I don't want to see any more raptors. All right, you can um, you can also ride other dinos while you're carrying these guys. So where on on say like an argent, which we will eventually get into, you can technically carry three dodos with you on an argent. Yes, one in the beak, one in the claws, one on your hands. It's kind of cool. All right, so let's get over here, and then we're gonna talk about um, probably one of the best aspects that a dodo in Ark has to offer. All right, so coming back into our base, you will notice these guys are super easy to tame. All right, so now that we've got a bunch of them, the key thing that you want is get a whole bunch of females. I've got five females here. You're a female, you're a female, you're a female, you're a female, you're a female. And this guy right here, he's a male. All right, so now once they have, um, once that you have a male and female, they'll get this little heart over their head that says that uh, they are being mate boosted which means that they have increased effectiveness on chances to lay eggs. Now, when a dodo lays an egg, in every other dinosaur in the game, they have an internal timer that you cannot see that says, hey, at, after such and such time, they will lay an egg, or they have a chance to lay an egg. When it comes around to the end of that meter, they will, um, they, when it comes around to the end of that meter, the meter will go to zero, they'll have a chance to lay an egg, a certain percent chance, and then the meter will reset, and then it'll start back over. All right, on a dodo, it's every time they poop. Dodo is the only dino in the game that has this um, going on with it. So every single time a dodo poops, it has a chance to lay an egg. Yes. Which turns out to be quite effective. See, we didn't get one on that. But yeah, all you have to do is just have a bunch of dodos in an area for a certain period of time, and you will get tons of eggs. Now, with these eggs, what we're going to do, we're going to use this to make kibble. Now, the kibble that you get from dodos can be used for quite a few different purposes. And they're all really cool and effective and will really help you out. All right, I cut away just for a minute and then I came back and we already have an egg. That's how quickly you get dodo eggs. Now, these little dodo eggs in your inventory, they can just sit here. Um, they have a shelf life of quite a long time. Um, but also the best um, use for these things is to make the kibble and I'll discuss how to make the kibble for these things here in just one second I'm just waiting to get a few more eggs from these guys and Then I'll bring you back and uh, Yeah, but you'll notice these things they actually do tend to weigh a little bit they weigh um three pounds But after a while um, when you get higher levels, you'll start using stuff like uh, um preserving bins and refrigerators and these things go quite well and also eventually when you get titanoboas these eggs can be used to feed your titanoboas just by throwing them into a feeding trough or by manually feeding them but yeah let's get into making the kibble all right and we're back and these guys have already given me six eggs all right so let's just throw that out on the ground we're not going to need that and we're definitely not going to need the spoiled meat but we've got everything else that we need to go so let's get this stuff over here inside the handy dandy cooking pot. Now what you're gonna need in here to make your dodo kibble is going to be dodo eggs, of course, and you're gonna need fiber, okay? And you're gonna need measure berries, and you're gonna need rock carrots, okay? Now we also need um, water in there. So we're gonna take the water, and we're gonna put it in just, we're gonna, what you have to do to get the water is you have to make sure that you have um, your water skins. All right, so you take your water skins like this, and you go bam, 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 right from your inventory. And then you want to make sure when you're cooking this stuff that you have... Oh, we also need uh, cooked meat in here. What did I do with my cooked meat? I had cooked meat. Did I throw my cooked meat out on the ground? I totally did. I knew. I was over here taking a look at my spino. I was like, okay... All right, I've got my cooked meat. Uh, and then we'll discuss cro um, growing crops later. But in this episode, because we are talking about making kibble, I'm going to discuss how you do this right here. How you grow 
your uh, rock carrots, stuff like this, uh, you uh, have to have a medium crop plot or, har or larger. Um, I use medium crop plots. You can also use large crop plots. You can't put berries into small crop plots. You have to build the medium or larger. Now you uh, get water running up like this from a water source. You get it coming out of a tap like this right over the top of this. And then from there, you make sure you have fertilizer that you uh, craft up inside of the compost bins or inside of a dung beetle. You make sure you put rock carrot seed in here with the fertilizer and then over time, it will naturally grow. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take all this, we're gonna put our cooked meat in here, which I threw around. It's got a little bit of sand on it. It'll be fine. Now when we're cooking our kibble, first off, you wanna make sure that you're using thatch because if you're using anything other than well, spark powder or thatch. Well, actually, not even spark powder, just thatch. You want to make sure you're not using wood, not using spark powder, not using anything because you have a chance of making dyes with it um, because measure berries are also part of making dye. So I just use thatch as a fire, as a um, f um, fuel for the cooking pot just so where, because there's no recipes that go into the cooking pot that take uh, thatch. So um, they take any byproduct from thatch and thatch doesn't burn into charcoal because when the wood burns down, it turns into charcoal and charcoal is used to make dyes. So your dyes, your charcoal will combine with your measure berries, which means that it will cause you to uh, start cooking purple dye. Yeah, you don't want that. Okay, so now there we go. Bam, over the course of time, we have ourselves our first dodo egg kibble now this dodo egg kibble we're just gonna let that go uh let's take this back over refill this real quick bam take that stick that sucker in here bam there we go all right so now as this is cooking up we're gonna discuss a few things on what this dodo kibble is for and it's oh we, we already have more dodo eggs oh hey thanks guys all right see how fast they give us eggs that's eight eggs in like 25 30 minutes that i've been here the entire time so yeah okay so now we uh, uh take the dodo kibble now the dodo kibble can be used to actively tame up pteranodons now we've already tamed pteranodons in a previous episode we've already done the basics of it and i mentioned kibble now this right here i will just uh, when you knock out a pteranodon this kibble instead of prime meat instead of raw meat instead of mutton this stuff right here is the best way of taming a pteranodon if you can find a max level pteranodon and you tame it up with a super easy to acquire dodo kibble you can get some really impressive stats and levels out of that pteranodon and i will discuss the best ways of taming dinosaurs in its own blanket form eventually on in one of the uh Oh, the basics guides. All right, now there's two other um, different creatures on the maps that the dodo kibble will help you tame a lot faster. Both of the other ones are passive tames, and I'll show you how to use this as a passive tame, but you have to make sure that you don't eat it when it's on your hot bar. Okay, so now what you do, let's go see how much more of our dodo kibble is over here. Bam, we've got four. Let's just turn that off for now because we don't need any more of that right now. So now we've got five dodo kibble. We've got more eggs right there. Bam, more eggs. Okay, so now um, the other uses for the dodo kibble, the other two creatures that it can tame, one of them are the dolphins out here. Those little guys right out there. See that dolphin way out there? All right, that's what they call an ichthyosaurus. Now the dodo kibble is used to passively tame them. Now if we come out here... And we go like this, bam, and we put that in our zero slot, our very far slot, and we come out like this. Oh, there's a lead sick this way out there. Um, you have to make sure that you're not going to get aggro from a, um, a megalosaur out here. But once you uh, can make sure there's no um, megalodons out here, you can just get close enough to one of these, and they will naturally come over to you. Come here, dude. You just have to get within range. You gonna aggro on me, buddy? Come on. Oh, there's a Megalodon way out there. And there's a lead sickness. That lead sickness is giving me a little... I mean, he's not gonna hurt me, but still, he's big. Big scares me. All right, come here, dude. Come here, dude. Oh, 
Alright, now we can come up to this guy just like this. It'll say... Are you serious? Yeah, you're coming over. Yeah, you know what's good for you. Alright, let's take you back to shore a little bit before that Megalodon comes and aggro's on us. And he's gonna do it. Alright, let's get some air. There we go. I already got him. One dodo kibble is all that took. I mean, he was only super low level. This guy right here, bam, got him too. All right, so now we've got two ichthyosauruses. That easy. That's how quick and painless dodo kibble is. Yeah, it's that good. All right, so we're just going to leave these guys out here. Don't follow me. Hang out, chill out. You guys can talk amongst yourselves, all right? Don't worry. We're going to go continue our video, all right? Um, so now there's one other one that um, that we're going to have to discuss. And for this one, I'm going to use the tech armor so where we can get over there. Because I didn't bring over my Super Dodo with me. I've just been flying around in the tech armor because it's fun. Alright, but while we're here really quick, let's discuss one other way of knocking out these uh, Dodos. Well, you can actually use a couple different methods. For me, bam. Alright. The club. Okay, I already threw away all my stuff. Let's see. Uh, five. Bam. Sickle. Club. Bam. And let's craft up two of those because it's always good to have extras on hand when it comes to the club. Alright, so that's already in our hot bar. Uh, yep. Okay, cool. Alright, so now, if we just come down here... And we'd start whacking on this dodo. He's just going to fall asleep. And he's going to end up taking more torpor than a punch will do. There we go. It's a little bit more effective, a little bit easier. It only takes a little bit more time. But there's also a few other different ways that you can knock out these guys. One of them is a crossbow. If you're going to use a crossbow, I would recommend you don't use a super high-powered crossbow. Because you can kill them in one hit. Now, let's go find this guy right here. When you're using a crossbow on these guys, remember, they don't have very many hit points. So you want to go for body shots. And then just kind of let it sink in just a minute. Just like that. Yes. All right, so now also, when you, if you want to use something a little bit more high speed, you can just use a single one shot. Bam, and he's out. Super easy, super quick, super effective. And that's just um, with the uh, shocking tranquilizer dart. We also have regular tranquilizing darts. And we'll see just how effective this one is. Which is going to be... One shot. Super easy, super effective. But I would recommend, if you're just going to use dodos... All you, if you're just going to uh, tame dodos, just use a club or punch them. It's so much easier than anything else. Because uh, smacking dodos is one of life's little pleasures that Ark provides. It's so fun. It's so amazing. And you're getting knocked out, buddy. Later, dude. All right, so now that all the dodos on this beach... Now that all the dodos on this beach have been knocked out... All right, now we're going to go talk about the very last... Now that all the dodos on this beach are knocked out, we're going to go talk about the last... One that the kibble um, can be used to tame passively. All right. Now, the other and final use for dodo kibble... Well, actually, not the final use. I will explain one other use that you can have for dodo kibble. But it's to tame these little guys. Mesopithecus. Yeah, the little guys that I lovingly call foo. Yeah, these guys are quite amazing. And all you do is sneak up behind him. Bam! And then you can wear them on your shoulder. <laughs> and that's how you get these little dudes. The easiest way, dodo kibble. It's so good. You can tame it with mezzo, mezzo berries, but yeah, I mean, the dodo kibble works out quite well. But also, there's another use for dodo kibble that you can have. Um, it's because dodo kibble is stacks up so much higher than other stuff, and it has a long spoil timer. Say, like, if you're breeding babies on a public server, on one of the official servers, because they take such a long time, um, you can actually take and make up whole batches of hundreds of dodo kibble because they give you so much eggs and all they do is take rock carrots and cooked meat. It's super easy. You can load it up onto uh, new babies with a fresh um, complement of a bunch of berries because babies have um, a max weight that they can carry. That way there, you can actually um, put a bunch of berries on there and then fill up 
fill it up with less weight um, dodo kibble. So where when the um, baby finally runs out of berries, it will have plenty of dodo kibble to eat until you're able to get on next time and actually feed it and then stuff like that. That way there, you can use a stack or two of dodo kibble as your backup food for the babies in between. It's one of the things, it's something I rarely have to use, but if you're tame, if you're breeding up something pretty big that's going to take a long time to mature, that's a way, another way of doing it. So hey, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the basics dodo, then hey, give me a thumbs up down below. I appreciate that. Um, if you're new around here, subscribe for all sorts of new solo content, gaming um, evolved content, and just general wackiness with other video games. And hey, until next time, this is Flinger Foo, and take it easy around. Uh, take it easy, everybody. If only I could learn how to talk. Yeah? What do you feel about that, monkey? Ah, uh, you don't care. Alright, take it easy, everyone.